every step of the way and I'll fight back. But what if I can't do it? What if I'm not strong enough? If Ryan doesn't back off, it might just kill me. Why do you have to be so melodramatic? I'm serious, Jake. You don't know what it feels like. So, let me get this straight. You actually think that by Ryan telling you that he loves you, it might kill you. Is that right? No, not, not just saying that he loves me. Uh, you know, I've been a doctor a pretty long time, and I, I think this is a first for me. I mean, I'm actually thinking about stepping back and watching this whole medical thing unfold this way I can name a syndrome after it, Yeah, you know, you know what? You're just so funny. If I had the strength, I'd smack you right now. Honey, you're stressed out. I honestly think he was just trying to get you something to eat so you can get your strength back. And this stress, by the way, is self-induced. You do this to yourself. I'm not the one who's making everything more difficult. No, really. Then what was with the big entrance back into town telling everybody in town that you're going to marry David? What was that? I don't know what that is. But I will tell you this. If you do it, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Trust me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Really? Did you know that David pretended to be my son's father so he could essentially steal him from us and have sex with my wife and blackmail her into that? Did you know that? I know all of it. And most of it I heard from David himself. Sure, sure, with his amenable spin on it. You know what's so insulting is that no one gives me the credit for being able to handle him. No, because you're strong and you're capable and you're independent. Exactly. Then why are you so helpless when it comes to Ryan? That's not a fair comparison. It's different with Ryan. And that's why you're marrying David. What is it, anybody but Ryan Day? And that's why that? you're here. To be Ryan's wingman? No, 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 I'm not here to tell you that he's the one. That's for you to decide. That's for you to figure Thank out. Thank you. Honey, you know, I... I love you. I, I consider you one of my best friends, and I hate to see you hurting. Maybe you feel passed over or left out, or kicked aside. That's understandable. But I don't think you should make this all about that. And, and if you're doing that to make it easier than taking the honest path forward, then I think you're doing yourself a great disservice. But you're known for that. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Look at you. You're dehydrated. I'm going to get a drink for you, get something in your system, okay? How long have you been standing there? You've been listening to everything we're saying? I heard. Jake, I was walking in. I was coming in, but I heard. I heard Greenlee say that I have pushed her to the edge. Me trying to get her back. What was I thinking? Bringing her here. The light. Well, I haven't done that, have I? The only thing I may have accomplished is losing her for good. I thought I was doing the, the right thing here, but I, I thought I was by bringing her away from Hayward, right? So she could just relax a little bit, just relax and think about what she's doing. But look at her in there, and that's because of me. I'm only making things worse here. Honestly, I, I, have, I have been screwing up. Since the day that I thought she died, I have. Since the day that I went to view her body and I couldn't bring myself just to pull back the sheet and look, if I had just looked, you know, none of this would have been happening. None of it. I should have, I should have questioned. I, sh I should have investigated. I should have double-checked the DNA to make sure that it was her. Hold on a second. You can't be blaming yourself for it. We all believe that, okay? Plus, you were in more shock than anybody. Okay, then what am I doing now? What, what about here? What, what, what is this? We're getting in her face like Stop. this, insisting that we just pick Listen. up where we left off. Listen, like nothing she happened. is what am fatigued. I doing? She is stressed out. She's dehydrated, okay? And by the way, she did all of this to herself. You didn't do it, and she's not going to die from it. So just take it easy, okay? Look, the way I see it, and I've always been a firm believer that you have to fight for something. If you love somebody, you have to fight for it, okay? That's what you're doing. There's no user's manual when you find out that your fiancé is back from the dead. You're doing the best you can. And not for nothing, so is she. Well, I just don't know what to do. I mean, I don't. I want to do something, right? And I don't know what it is. I don't know how to help. What are you doing out here? Why aren't you... I asked you to go get something to, you know, drink and eat for her, and you never... You went AWOL, so I was just... It's fine. Just go. I'll give you a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Who died? Some beautiful, beautiful moments with Stuart. My strong suggestion is that you hold on to those tightly. Right? Might be painful at first, but don't let those slip away. They're gonna come in very handy someday when you need them most. It's good.
good advice. Especially considering his usual random ideas. Yeah. Okay, fine, no. no I'll, I'll be right there. Who's Adam? He's got some for me at the hospital, okay? Check in. He's probably go too. But, uh... Here, I almost forgot. Uh, I, I got some pictures of Stuart here. Here and look at these with me. Uh. Those cheeks. Uh. <laughs>